hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and in this will cover problem d mark and light bulbs from round eight zero seven so let's get started so in this problem we were given two binary strings uh, s and t right so something like zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one you can say right and these were of size n where n is around in the path five also we were given an operation in one operation we can choose any index si from string s such that s of i minus 1 is not equal to s of i plus 1 that is the neighboring elements are not same for example if you have something like 0 0 1 as the neighboring elements are not same we can switch this 0 to a 1 so we can switch this to a 1 right so like if the neighboring elements of of any element si are not equal we can uh, flip it or switch it Using this, uh, we have to convert S to T. So we have to tell the minimum number of operations that are required to convert S to T. So we have to tell the minimum number of operations that are required to convert S to T, right? So that's the problem. So how can we solve this? Uh, so the only, like the main observation that you need to solve this problem is, that a string can be broken down into uh, blocks of contiguous zeros and ones. The main observation that you require is that string can be broken down into contiguous blocks of zeros as and ones. So if you have something like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, then you can see this as contiguous blocks of zeros and ones, right? So here we have four blocks. This is block one, this is block four, this is block three, and this is block four. So you can see your string as contiguous blocks of zeros and ones. How will this help us solve the problem? I will explain in the second observation. So let's start with the second observation that will show us why it is important to see the string as contiguous blocks of zeros and ones. So the observation two is that the operation that we are doing, the operation that we are doing will only affect the size of blocks. It will not affect the number or the relative positioning of blocks. So our operation will only affect size of blocks position will remain relative position will remain same so how can you show this so let's take the same example as above so if you have something like 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 then we have four blocks right As we can only apply an operation when the neighboring elements are different, we can only apply operations on the on the border of a block, right? We cannot apply operations inside a block. We can only apply operations on a border of a block. So like if you have a B2, we, we can only apply operation on the border. So here and here, we cannot apply an operation on the middle element. So uh, let's try to uh, like uh, do operation and observe what happens. So like if you apply an operation on the following border of B2, we will get 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So as you can see, your B1 expanded and your B2 has shrinked, right? If you apply an operation on the following border, your B1 increased and your B2 decreased, right? So you, so you can see that after applying an operation, only the size of your block is decreasing and increasing, but the positioning of blocks is remaining same. So again, if, like, if you apply an operation on, let's say the following border of B3, you will get 0, 0, 0, 0. You will get 1, 1. You will get, uh, sorry, you will get three ones, right? You will get 1, 1, 1. You will get a 0 and you will get a 1, 1, right? So this is your, right? new so you can see again your size of b3 decreased and your size of b2 increased so the uh, the positioning of blocks is remaining same only like you can change the size of your blocks right 
so that is the main observation that will help you solve the problem so now you can just see your s and t as continuous blocks of zeros and ones so now you have your string s right it will be some kind of zeros and ones right something like this and your t will also be continuous blocks of zeros and ones All the size of blocks may differ, but they should be same in the positioning, right? Uh, you can see that you can change uh, the size of blocks in S, but you cannot change the uh, relative positioning of blocks in S, right? So the relative positioning in both S and T should be similar. So let's say your string S has the following structure. Your S, is, uh, your S contains, let's say, four blocks, right? block 1 uh, this is of let's say 0 block 2 this is of 1 block 3 this is of 0 and block 4 this is of 1 right so, uh, then your t should also have the same number of blocks with the same relative positioning so your t should also have b1 of zeros b2 of ones b3 of zeros and b4 of ones like if there is some change in the relative position of s and t then the answer is impossible right because then you will because you can only change the size you cannot shift the positions right so now the problem is simple enough now you just have two strings that have the same block structure now you just have to resize the blocks in the first string to match them with the second string so let's have an example to explain this better so let's say you have two strings uh, s and t where s is something like 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 and your string t is something like 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 and 0 right so you you can break this down into three blocks right block 1 block 2 and block 3 block 1 block 2 and block 3 we will just try to match the blocks that are made up of ones right because if you match all the blocks that are made up of ones blocks of zero will uh, also align themselves right so let's draw this better zero 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 we have four ones and we have zero 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 and we have one 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 zero right so now you want to uh, like align the top block uh, onto the uh, onto the bottom block so how can you do this so for that you have to align their left end point and the right end point so this is your left end point let's call this l1 right this is your left end point so let's call this l1 let's call this r1 let's call this l2 let's call this r2 right so you have to align l1 with l2 and R r1 with r2 so to align r1, r1 with r2 we can increase the size of this block by 2 so we can do r1 minus r2 operations here right so we can do r2 minus r1 operations and align r1 with r2 right absolute of r2 minus r1 operations right if you do these many operations your r2 and r1 will align themselves now you have aligned r1 and r2 now you have to align l1 and l2 right so now you have to again do absolute of l2 minus l1 operations to again align l1 and l2 right so let's solve this for the following problem so if you have 1 1 1 1 you have 0 0 you have 1 1 0 0 and you have 1 1 you have to do uh, r2 minus r1 operations here right so we have to do uh, how many operations we have to do absolute of r2 minus r1 operations here the, uh, here the difference is 2 so we have to do 2 operations to align R1 and, R1 and R2 so we will do the 2 operations and we will get 1 and 1 right so now your R1, R1 and R2 are aligned so now we have to align L1 and L2 right so uh, L, L1 minus L2 is also equal to 2 so now we will do 2 more operations and we will decrease the size of the block on the left side yes so we'll, we will decrease the size on on this side and now our, both the blocks are aligned right so both the, both the blocks have size 4 and l1 l2 and r1 r2 bo uh, both are same right so if you have been given two blocks if you have been given two blocks right uh, the number of operations to require to align them operations required to align blocks are absolute of l2 minus l1 plus absolute of 
आर टू माइनस आर वन राइट सो डैट्स द प्रॉब्लम बेसिकली सो यू सो सो टू समराइज इट वंस अगेन टू समराइज इट ब्रेक डाउन बोथ द स्ट्रिंग्स into contiguous blocks of zeros and ones right if the relative positioning if the relative positioning the relative positioning of s and t is not same then answer is impossible if the relative positioning is not same answer is impossible right otherwise try to align blocks of one right try to align blocks of ones so let's break them into blocks so if you have something like this your string is this is let's say your block s1 this is your block s2 this is your block s3 this is your block s4 right so let's say these are blocks of zeros these are blocks of ones these are blocks of zeros and these are blocks of ones and you have your t here t also has four blocks This is T one. This is T two. This is T three. This is T four. This is zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one one one. So just try to align the blocks of ones, right? So just try to align S two with T two, and try to align S four with T four. Because if you align all the blocks of ones, your blocks of zero will always also be aligned themselves. So for every block of one. Align them using operations. For every block of ones, align them using minimum operations. And minimum operations required are operations required are absolute of L two minus L one plus absolute of R two minus R one. Right? So that that is the number of operations that are required to align two blocks. So Also, I can draw this so you can get this better. So this is your block L one and R one. This is your block L two and R two. So, so it will take these many operations here and these many operations here to align them. So that's basically the problem. And if you guys want to see the code for this, here is the code. So here I am finding all the blocks in string S, right? So I am counting all the blocks. and here i am counting all the blocks in t so i am like i am keeping the end points of i am keeping the end points of the block and the uh, the number that is in the block so if the block is of zeros or ones and the end points of the block right for both s and t then i will check for impossible cases that is if the number of blocks are not same or the relative positioning of blocks is not same that is if s of 0 is not equal to t of 0 then the relative positioning is not same then the answer is impossible otherwise i will start with my answer and for every blocks if it is a block of 0 then then i don't need to worry about it it will align itself otherwise if it's a if it's a block of 1 i will try to align it i made four cases here you don't need these four cases right your answer will be just answer plus equal to Absolute of L two minus L one plus absolute of R two minus R one. Then I'm just counting the number of operations that, that are required, and I'll just output my answer in the end, right? So I can submit this as well. I think it will get accepted. Yeah. So that is the solution to problem D. And if you guys have a doubt, do let me know in the comments or join my Discord server. I will be more than happy to help you guys out there. Also, if you guys don't know, Continuum Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long, 
and it is totally based on after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that I don't coding, I don't have fresher, I don't have The course is over six months long and they will teach you from scratch. So you can still sign up for this. And if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field, this is a very, uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for. And if you uh, want to land a job, I highly, uh, I highly vouch for this. And uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there. So. Yeah, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.